All right, so you need an additional ticket actually to get into this enclosure, the world of elephants. Secret world of elephants, man. Well, it reminds me of my research I did in Malaysia when I was teaching abnormal psychology about the abnormal behavior of elephants. Boy, uh, when they were in a zoo and that paper which I wrote was published in one of the referee journals in America is still one of the most popular downloaded paper that I ever wrote on why animals get depressed and what we can do about it as scientists. Oh boy. You would have to read all this, man. How tiny dwarf elephants. Oh boy. Look at this. Dwarf elephants. Are the smallest known elephant species. Fossils of dwarf elephant relatives have been found on islands in several parts of the world. They lived in Sicily, southern Italy, around 450,000 years ago, folks. Oh my. Oh, how pretty. How pretty. 450,000 years ago is when they lived in Sicily, called the dwarf elephants. And then there are more. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Feel an elephant tooth. Oh my, I'm gonna feel it for sure. An elephant tooth. Oh my, how many? How many there are so? Yes, rough, rough. Hmm, that's an elephant tooth inside. And it's an Asian elephant tooth. I did feel an elephant tooth. They have ridges that grind against each other when the upper and lower teeth meet. An excellent adaptation for cutting up stiff grass leaves. Boy. Hmm. Elephants drink 500 cans a day. 50 gallons of water each day. No matter how far they walk in search of food, elephants need to find drinking water nearly every day. Yep, so this is not 50 gallons, uh, maybe fewer than that. And look at that. Long memories, elephants remember the location of remote watering holes for decades. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Indeed, they're big eaters. The grass and leaves shown here is the amount of food an adult African elephant needs in a single day. Well, close to about 500 pounds of plant food is what they need per day. And uh, oh yeah, the literature here says that they spend a good 18 hours a day eating and resting during the hottest parts of the day. Beautiful. Well, yeah, the global demand for ivory. Here is a little baby African uh, elephant. It's not too big. Certainly not too big, but I would have loved to see the dwarf elephants, which they don't have anymore. It existed 450,000 years ago. What is this? Turn the wheel. It says uh, warm blood is pumped into the ears to release heat. Hmm, flapping the ear cools the blood inside. Foster and cool blood returns to the body, lowering the overall temperature. Yes. Amazing, amazing. It, the color turns from red to blue. They feel cooler by swinging their uh, ears. Look at this. That's an Indian elephant right there. 
hundreds of movies playing her in different parts of the Elephants can Museum of Natural History. Up to 30 miles. And therefore it's pretty good for a student assignments to come here to the museum and do stuff for our school. That's where the uh, teacher should bring the children to the museum to do their homework. Which reminds me of Sri Lanka, where I took my family many years ago and saw hundreds of elephants that were almost, well, uh, at a very short distance. Um, and we saw them bathing in the lakes and in the rivers, you know, and we were excited, especially the children were excited to see a wild elephant on the loose. I don't know what this is, the Ganesh Indian, Indian. Well, mythology about the festival of Ganesh. It's written here, I don't know. It's a 10 day celebration that marks that elephant's birthday. Birth rather, not birth date. And they're placed outdoors, the statues. Yeah. So anyway, it's a Hindu religion in which they probably uh, find elephant as their deity. Yeah, this is also pretty informative stuff, especially how they use this instrument, the elephant goad, to direct the elephant. It's called a mahout in uh, Indian language or an elephant handler, right? We all did take elephant rides when we were kids. So we are pretty familiar. This looks like uh, probably some place in either India or uh, Sri Lanka. Yes, they were used for heavy lifting. Yes. Look at that, yeah. In some places, of course, the circuses, they have uh, Uh, use these beasts for fun and also as weapons of war at times of war if you uh, have read Mughal history and the history of the invaders into India you would know how the invaders uses, used the elephants uh, as uh, you know, the weapons of war. Yes. And they ride them in places like India, Pakistan, parts of Asia. I bet also in Nepal. Yeah. So there's a lot more information here all about elephants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Indeed, it's worth it to come here and get educated, man. Doesn't matter how old you are, young or old, you would definitely uh, learn a lot. All about elephants is what it is. And the community living. Yes, they can protect their members and especially the babies and their young. The secrets of a tusk, right? The mammoths, it's a mammoth. They're not extinct, but once they roam many parts of the globe and not only in the frozen north well, there have been many species of mammoths, right? From Alaska to Mexico, from New York to California and all that. 
And even there has been like a tooth evolution. And so they grow whole forests behind this. So yeah, so it's a weak What happened to the woolly mammoths anyway? Well, the humans hunted them. And partly it was the changing climate that also hastened their demise. Right? Because, uh, because of the ice melting and everything. So here's the furry mammoth is what they used to look. Right? Boy, oh boy. Well, some 45,000 years ago or so, they became extinct. And this is what they look like under one of their skulls. It's a big mammoth, big furry, woolly mammoth. Thank you all for watching. Today is August 27, Museum of Natural History. New York City, 2024. Bye-bye.